Kinsky again guys. Thanks for tuning back in. So today finally I'm going to film my what I've been smelling video. Um, I kind of have a lot so I hope I can get it all done in the 15 minute time frame that my camera lets me have to download. So I'm just going to jump right in. First thing I have is from Waxy Lady and this is a clamshell in Wildberry Sugar Cookie. And this was really, really good. Now, I split two cubes up amongst all over my house in three different warmers, um, both 20 and 25, 20 and 24 watt warmers, and this was so delicious. Smelled my whole house up like this set, so very good. I would definitely reorder that. Next clamshell is from Eagle Rock, and this is an Ogre Feet, and this was so yummy. I love, um, what is it, Eagle Rock, yeah. I don't even, I can't even explain what this smells like. It smells like a really sweet outdoorsy scent, yet it's not woodsy and it's not grassy. And I don't know what the notes are for it, but oh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, almost watery, sweet scent. It's so good. I would definitely reorder that one. This is Sugar Scoop Swax Melts and Late Night Snack, one of her chunks. And this one is kind of funny. My boyfriend never comments on how any of my stuff smells anymore. It's like he's just used to it. I threw this in before I went to run some errands. Um, and while I was gone, he texted me and told me that the house smells just like I'm baking brownies. Um, so that was amazing. When I got home, it was very, very strong smelling brownie scent. So good. Such a great chocolate. The next one is Brownie Pecan Pie, Better Homes. This is really, really good. Super nutty, chocolatey scent. Very, very strong. And this is Sensational's Chai Tea. And I guess I still have one cube left, but maybe I'll melt that now. Really good. Very spicy chai tea scent. I actually prefer Kay's Creations Indian Chai Tea over this. But this was very, very strong. Really good. Okay, on to some other stuff. Let's empty that. This is Aunt Spellman's Super Scented Candles in Coconut Whipped Cream Vanilla Frosted Grams. And yeah, this was so good. Very creamy coconut scent with a little bit of a bakery note to it. Um, probably got a medium scent throw. I really enjoyed that one. Kimberly Ann's Blonde Moment Cotton Candy Frosting was a sample that I received in one of my orders. And this is the first time I've ever tried Blonde Moment, and I was really, really impressed with it. It's a really sweet, I get like some berries, I'm not sure what else, but tiny bits of the cotton candy frosting. I would definitely reorder this blend. It was really good. Oh my gosh, front porch. This was a four pack in Santa's Whiskers. I could seriously melt this all year long. This is one of my favorite scents. This was a pine and sugar cookie scent, um, and it was delicious. Not overwhelming on the pine at all. Super sweet, sugary pine scent. Very, very good. I am going to miss that scent. This was Tiffany Candles. This was Raspberry Lemonade. And I really enjoyed this scent so much that I ordered um, more of it. Very tart lemonade um, and super sugary raspberry. It was not the strongest scent. I would give it a medium throw, but so delicious that I had to have more. This was from Truly Yours. This is a mud pie in Hawaiian Punch. Um, I threw the whole 2 ounce pie in a 20 watt warmer, and I got a pretty damn good throw off of it. And it lasted about six hours, so it was really, really good. However, it doesn't smell like a fruit punch scent to me. It smells more like a fruit slice scent, so that kind of threw me off, but it was decent. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, this one's good. Waxy Lady Peach Puree. This scent rocked my world. I had this going in an 18 watt in my bedroom, and it was super, super strong for... Um, what I usually get to throw in my bedroom. Very good, sweet, creamy, fresh peach scent. It's like a smoothie. Anyways, this thing, I just let it go until it wouldn't go any longer, and it was throwing still after 24 hours. This is Closet Full of Wax Strawberry Passion, and this is just like a little one-ounce scent shot. Um, super yummy. I love Strawberry Passion. Hers is very, very strong, sugary, sweet, fresh strawberry scent. And this thing lasted a very long time on strong. Haley's Heavenly Scents Toasted Pink Twinkies. Okay, so this totally got me addicted to her 
toasted marshmallow scent. She has got the best toasted marshmallow in the world. And a really, really good pink sugar. This was very strong in a 24 watt. Um, I didn't pick up a lot of the Twinkie scent. I can never really pick up Twinkies. This was Super Tarts Hazelnut Macchiato. Um, this was really good. I got a lot of the nutty hazelnut scent. Otherwise, it was a sweet, oh, squeamy. It was a sweet, creamy coffee. There wasn't a whole lot of coffee in it, but it was very strong. Kimberly Ann's Licorice and Pink Sugar. I am a big licorice fan, and these two scents mixed so well together. Very, very strong. Very strong. Mm, I loved that one. This is L3 Coffee Bean. This is like the most potent coffee I have ever smelled in my life. Um, these were just two little squares, and this thing was killer. Mm, very strong, strong, like fresh brewed coffee. I liked that one. Molten Melts Twilight Woods type. This was, I think, one of those like breakaway bars. Um, this was a really good. It was an exact dupe for Twilight Woods. And I would give it um, a light to medium throw. It was a very, very soft scent, but I liked it. Don't even remember melting that one. Afternoon Tea from Kay's Creations. I really like this scent. It's a very good tea. Um, it's not the strongest scent in the world. It smells like a cup of hot tea and a little bit of lemon maybe to me. I don't know that either. Okay. Sensei, this was a clamshell and gooey, car gooey caramelized pears. I really enjoyed this clamshell. This scent, I put this in um, a 20 watt warmer. Um, so it was very, very strong. It didn't last very long, maybe three hours. Um, I have noticed if you put her stuff in a lower watt, especially a bulb, you get longer scent throw. I don't remember that one. Holy cow. Kim Rianne's Bonfire Bliss um, Fluffy Pink Candy. I love Bonfire Bliss. I found out that I do not like fluffy pink candy. And this was super strong on the fluffy pink candy. So, um, yeah, I didn't care for that too much. Okay. This was part of a Sensei Loaf and Amaretto Eggnog Pistachio Gelato. Amaretti Coconut Cookie Loaf. Um, and this was very overwhelmingly strong. And mostly I got the pistachio out of it. And I don't care for that scent. But it was very strong. Mm. Okay, this was Hippie, Happy Hippie Scents Pink Peppermint Marshmallows. And usually I have really good luck with her stuff. Um, this one I didn't get anything out of. Waxy Lady Peppermint Swizzle. And this was in her um, Angel Dust. This was really strong, like candy cane scent on cold. But it didn't throw very well for me um, on hot. It was a very light candy cane scent. Uh, L3, Blueberry Muffin Ice Cream Scoop Bread. This was really, really good. Her blueberry is really, really strong. And really, it overpowered everything. So I really just got the blueberry, but I like her blueberry. This is I Heart Wax Lemon Pound Cake Cotton Candy, and this was just a Hello Kitty Head from a friend. And um, I really liked the Lemon Pound Cake part of this. Um, I don't like her cotton candy. It smells like bacon, dog food, moldy bacon to me, um, just my opinion. Sweet Fixations Fruit, Fruit Loop Cone, I got nothing off of that. This was part of a loaf in Glitterati, from Glitterati, Vanilla Nut Spice Amaretto Sugar Cookie. Oh my god, super, super, super strong. I really, really enjoyed this scent. Um, I get lots of the Amaretti and a sweet spice to it. Very, very delicious. I finished a loaf from Kimry Ann's in Coconut Cream Pie Cotton Candy Frosting. I liked this scent wasn't the strongest. Both of these scents are both kind of light, but super oily and delicious. Glitterati Vanilla Pear Cotton Candy. I love this scent so much I ordered a loaf in it. It is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Her pear is delicious. It's like a sweet, fresh, ripe pear. And that cotton candy just smelled so good with it. I got um, 
almost strong throw on that. It was very, very good medium, and it lasted for quite a while. Strawberry bread pretzel whipped cream from L3. This was good. It was fruity, it was creamy, and it was salty all in one. I just wish that the throw was a little bit stronger. It was um, kind of light to medium. VDC's Cotton Candy Milkshake Birthday Cake Ice Cream, part of a loaf. Um, this was really good in my 20 watt in my bedroom. Um, super sugary sweet. I get a lot of the cotton candy and just very, very creamy. I would definitely repurchase that one. Cardinal Candles, the Frosted Lime Cupcakes, Pink Sugar. This was a giant cupcake. I just threw the whole thing in the 24 watt warmer and it kicked some ass. I got mostly the Frosted Lime Cupcake, which smells just like, um, is it Sensationals that has that one, or Better Homes and Gardens, something, some one of them. It smells just like their um, Frosted Lime. Little tiny bits of pink sugar, this was so strong and it lasted quite a while. Lemon Marshmallow from Front Porch, I'm sure most everybody has smelled that, really good. I get mostly, to me it smells like a citrusy. Fruit Loops. I like that one. This was Tinsel Rock Candy from CMC. This was super sugary sweet. Um, tinsel, you have a little bit of the like effervescency, pepperminty, fruity scent. Rock Candy is super sugary to me with a little bit of mintiness, so I liked that one. Alright, also from CMC is Spearmint. This is such an amazing scent. This was just a tiny little scent shot. I think what was Spearable Wax. Super strong, smells just like gum, um, very relaxing, loved it. Pink pink Sugar Vanilla Bean Noel Bubble Gum. This one surprised me because mostly out of this I got the Vanilla Bean Noel and um, little bits of pink sugar. I didn't get any bubble gum, but it was strong and it was really good. CMC First Snowfall, one of my favorite scents ever. This is like a spearmint and a peppermint mixed. Um, just super good. Oh, it's so strong. It just tingles your nose. <coughs> what else? Uh, another clamshell from Scentsy. This is Winter Mint. I really, really like this one. Again, I melted it in my 20 watt warmer. It was so strong. It lasted about four hours. This is a, like a minty, woodsy, manly scent. Very, very good to clear those sinuses. Glitterati Honeydew Buttercream Cake. Um, I, again, am reordering this scent. It is absolutely delicious. For some reason, it reminds me of my grandma. In this scent, I really get a lot of the honeydew, and it's more florally than like a uh, sweet, fruity honeydew, which I like. I'm slowly beginning to love florals. Um, and then it was really like almost like a sour cream cake to me. In a good way, though. It was super, super delicious. Kay's Creations Perfect in Paris. This was... um. This is Pear and Love Spell Blend. Very, very good. Um, it's a lighter throw, at least it was for me, but very pretty scent. L3 Pistachio Coconut Fluff Ice Cream Scoop Bread. This scent, I honestly didn't get anything out of. I ended up throwing the whole chunk in a 20 watt warmer, and I didn't get anything. And I thought for sure that it would be strong, but <coughs> it wasn't. <coughs> I don't have very much longer left. Okay, Cotton Candy Frosting from I Heart Wax. This is, I think, another Hello Kitty head. This scent, again, it smelled like old bacon. Raspberry Zinger Bread from Super Tarts. One of the best things that I have melted in a very long time. I really loved it. Raspberry Bakery scent. It was super sugary sweet. Super, super strong. Oh my god, amazing. I would definitely reorder that if I could. I am almost out of time. L3 Fenway Park, one of her signature scents. Very delicious, nutty carnival scent. Oh my god, super, super smack in the face. Strong. All right, the, this I mixed the rest of my banana bubblegum chunk with a pink mustache chunk from L3. That's why they're both double bagged. Um, pink mustache is pink sugar pistachio and I think zucchini bread. This was the best thing I have ever smelt mixed together. I couldn't even believe it. I need a loaf in it. Anyways, I have a few more left. I don't have any more time now. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!